Hello, my friends, and welcome to another video of Death Metal Bonsai. In this video, which is the part two of my Pegas Elastica, uh, I'll be I'll be cutting this to many sections and planting those, and uh, I'm hoping to create a fusion style of bonsai from this one. So. As I said, I'm going to cut each leaf from the trunk, like you can see that there is a ring that starts from every leaf, and I'll be cutting just above those in every leaf, except for the top one. I'll be I'll be leaving this the top smaller leaf with the with this one, the second highest leaf, and I'll be planting those in a ring, uh, probably leave a gap in the front, and when they start to grow, uh, they will start to fuse together, because uh, ficus has a really thin bark, so when it grows, it will hopefully fuse together in uh, I would say probably um, three to five years, probably in the future. So let's begin. All right. So let's start. So uh, I have no idea how I'm going to do this. First of all, I have to do it quite safely. So. I think I'll be using this to keep, first of all, rest of the cutting up to avoid damaging the other leaves and so I can rotate this so I can just cut this one. And if I learn something from the first video is that first it gets so hot in here, like so hot. I was just sweating my ass off. So, the door is open. Second, my box knife was not sharp enough. It was really hard to cut <laughs> to the wood. <laughs> and that is the reason I cut accidentally one of the leaves off. But now, uh, I took the old part away from the uh, box knife, so hopefully it's sharp enough now. And I hope I won't be losing any leaves now. So let's begin. So here is the first one, just above the ring, like I said. Alright, so it's really hard wood, it's really hard. I didn't think that. All right, here. I didn't think it would be that hard, but again, I haven't done anything like this before. So, here's the first part. I just leave it there. Then let's get the other one. Twelve and thirteen. This one I will leave because the small leaf isn't strong enough yet, just to grow in, grow on its own. So, and there, inside, we can see a new leaf in its uh, protective leaf or shell. Leave. I, I don't know what do you call it in English. Yes. So, next step is to plant these in a circle. For this, I'll be using this uh, large container. I didn't have anything else as big to keep them in. So, I hope this will do uh, well. And the old. Um, the 
stump I took off. I planted in gravel and wood chips, but because I just want those cuttings to uh, be in moisture, I won't be using the wood chips with the gravel. I'll be using some basic, uh, basic soil from uh, gardening, gardening centers from here in here to uh, mix in with the gravel to keep in the moisture. So let's use this container with up the gravel. Second one. That. Then the soil. One scoop. Second scoop. Oh, a little bit more. Let's mix those. Right. I think because of the soil, um, basic soil is running low, I'll be putting a first level. So I'll just use these clay balls, which is basically the same thing as the gravel, but the um, clay balls are very, um, they are ball-like and they won't, um, when they are just mixing together, the uh, gravel has these smaller air gaps between them, but with this it's really, the holes between them are really large, so I think the gravel works better. So, let's just dump this here. Yeah. Ah, there's a few wood chips, it's okay. It's okay. So, I think it needs some more. So, one scoop of the gravel and one scoop of the soil like this. Mix it together and dump it in. Alright, that looked much better, much better. So, this next thing I'll have to do is I'll have to um, get all of these in a circle and second of all I, I need to I need something to keep them down as you can see they are quite heavy so I think I'll have to tie them around something to keep them in the shape and I hope I can find something that is I can eat also that will be uh, heavy also that they won't just fall off so hmm what do I have here what do I have I have whoops I have this uh, small black container but I think it won't be enough. But before I, I'll start to dub myself, uh, let's see how large the circle would even be. Because I have no idea, I haven't done any math or calculation or anything to see how large it would be. So, oh, this will look so nice. Even with just these things, it will be so nice. So, yeah. It 
will be quite large. Quite large. Uh, Should I do? I think, yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure that will work. But now I'll need to use something to tie them all together. Uh, I do have wire here, but I think it's I it's this cheap, uh, really thin wire. So I think this will just. Uh, leave a nasty mark on the on the parts. So uh, I'll I'll be back right. I'll I'll be right back. So I have this uh, white white uh, string that I could I'm well I'm going to try to use to tie. Item in the, the pot, but hmm, I'm. How will I do this? Uh, it's going to be so, so hard and so annoying. Thinking, maybe. Hmm, how will I ever do this? This will be a challenge. I'll tell you that much. Idea. Let's start with like this. First. Ah, this will be so annoying. This will be so hard. Ah, uh, why do I do this to myself? Ah, uh, no, this won't work. This won't work. I think I'll have to try with the if I do it in the pot first. Okay, so if I arrange the leaves like this. The last one will hold them up for at, at least for a while, so maybe that gives me enough time to uh, get all of the leaves, or most, even most of the leaves. All going to shit. It's all going to shit. No, maybe not. Can I, can I tighten, tighten this up? Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> so, as you can see, this string is kind of segmented like this it, it isn't just one so i'm thinking maybe if i cut a piece of this like this and uh, put it in two parts like this i can Kind, a kind of wove this like this into a pattern, you know. At least that is what I I hope so. 
Well, it seems to be working with two leaves, so... Let's just... Let's just hope that it would work with many leaves, so... Alright, it's starting to look like it's working. At least, yeah, it's only looking like that, so let's not yet get our hopes up. So, the next step is to get all of these in a circle around the black pot. So yeah, that looks that like it worked. It works. Amazing. So, now the question, how the fuck do I die, tie it down? I forgot totally that it needs to be tied down. Oh fuck. Oh, yeah, I'll do this. Like, yes, yes. Yes, I got it, I got it. Okay, so I'll do a knot here to keep it more tight and to give me more rope for if not. Okay, now I'll check every leaf. The stream is at the bottom of the leaf. At the very, very bottom to get the woody parts together as tight, tightly, as tightly as we can get them. Okay, that looks tight enough. And then I'll just okay. So I'll make a knot here, like that. I won't tie it up, but tighten it down yet. So let's just start to get. Uh, leaves and uh, trunks in order and hopefully in the end we'll have something that should resemble a half circle so this is what i've been working on the cuttings are all all in this around this pot in a circle or in a circle and the front is free here of them so hopefully in many 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 years when this will be done I have the uh, I have a tree with a hollow trunk and it looks very nice it looks very nice now that the uh, leaves are in the right, right shape and in the correct order and in the in a good position, uh, I'll have to uh, first of all I have a rock to put keep them in there. But now I need to cover it all up. The these they are not in the soil. So I'll have to add a lot, a lot, a lot of more soil in there to keep, keep, them, keep them moist. So I'll just use the plain soil. To add just all around and between those between those leaves to get the uh, trunks into the soil and not just be in air. Okay, it is 
is look, looking like the plant, the trunks are in the soil. So, I'll just push the pot they are around in a little bit further in to tighten the knot. Just pushing those, some of that dirt in. And then I'll put this rock in there. And now for the scary part, I'll have to see if I can lift this up and the leaves are still in there and they will hold their place. Alright, amazing. No, don't touch the rock, don't touch the rock. Because if I do this, no, they are holding in there, but still, I'm not gonna touch it. So, yeah, I mean, that looks really aesthetic, really aesthetic. Just checking that all of the leaves are out and not covering each other so that they'll have some spot in the sun. And now all that is left to do is give it a very good watering. Get all of that soil wet and moist to keep the cuttings happy. This was a very hard and interesting project to do. Um, now let's just hope every single cutting will survive, or, or at least most of them. And I mean, this if this works, the trunks will start to fuse together in, like I said, maybe five years. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, I'm I'm very very proud of myself for doing this one. This was really hard. It took me oh, maybe over an hour to just to get the leaves all sorted and as you can see I'm just drenched in sweat. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope it wasn't too long. And again, like, please like the video and please subscribe. And also you can find me on Instagram at Death Metal Bonsai. There that's the place I'm most active. You can find all of my uh, bonsai pictures, all of the um, latest up updates I have there. Also, I post in the stories all the time. So, yeah, thank you all for watching and <laughs> goodbye, I think.